God bless you, people of the Most High. I'd like to take this opportunity to give God his honor, to bless his most majestic, only begotten son, Jesus Christ, and to glorify the Holy Spirit. And Father, we give you honor this day. We bless you. We thank you. Your holy majesty, Lord. You are righteous honor and you are majestic might. Father, thank you for allowing us to be called your children. Father, thank you for the living word, that being the only begotten of the Father, Jesus Christ, who is indeed the word of God. And thank you for the leading and the guiding of your Holy Spirit, your daily provisions that you give unto us, whether we deserve it or not, you are still mindful. So, God, we thank you for the great joy that we have and the access that you've given us to the kingdom of God. Lord, thank you for the faith to believe you in all things. Thank you for preparing us, God, to receive Jesus Christ, the bridegroom. Folks, I welcome you. My name is Clarence. I'm pastor of United Body of Christ Church. And today I, I want to, um, I feel like I'm led to bring forth another devotional. Uh, today's devotional is called, I once was blind, but now I see. So without further ado, we'll get right into it. Uh, those of you with your Bibles, uh, allow me to lead you to the eighth chapter of the gospel according to Mark. Eighth chapter, verse 22. Again, we want to talk about very briefly, I once was blind, but now I see. Let's look at what the text says here. Mark 8, chapter, verse 22. And he came, he cometh to Bethsaida, and they bring a blind man unto him and besought him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. And when he had spit upon his eyes, he put his hands upon him. He asked him if he saw it or if he saw anything. He looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. After that, he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him to look up. And he was restored and saw every man clearly. And he sent him away to his house saying, neither go into the town nor tell it to any in the town. Now we want to talk about I once was blind, but now I see. And what's interesting here, um, the people believing in Jesus Christ, having faith in Jesus, they went and brought a blind man to, to Jesus. They, they ministered to the, they, they went and received the blind man, and they had enough compassion on him to bring him to Jesus Christ, understanding that he was blind. And Jesus didn't heal him right there. What he did is he took him out of the town. And when he took him out of the town, what he did was he, according to the text, he took his saliva, he took his spit, and he began to touch him. He began to anoint, if you will, anoint his eyes, if you will, with, with his spit, which is almost, to me, what I received from this is somewhat of a cleansing process that the scales of the eyes uh, uh, may, may be removed. And during this process, it began to gradually, the, 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 the healing and the restoration of his eyesight began to gradually be restored. And the text goes on to say that after he put his hands again upon his eyes, he made him to look up and he was restored and he saw every man clearly. Now, again, what, what, what it means to me is, first of all, looking at this as far as revelation goes, or looking at this as far as the kingdom of heaven goes, we have to be willing to go and minister to those that walk by sight and not by faith. Those that walk by sight con concerning the kingdom, they are the ones that are blind, if you will. They are spiritually blind. They cannot receive those things of the kingdom. We have to be willing to go to them and lead them to Christ Jesus. And if they stay with him, 
they are going to start to gradually be able to see things in the manner from which they were meant to see. And look at that cleansing process. And watch what happened. G they, Jesus led him out of the town, out of the very place to where there may have been sin and all kind of things going on. Jesus took him away from there and got him to a place outside of those areas and ministered to him there. I believe that Christ is calling us and we have to be willing to take our loved ones. We have to be willing to go and minister to them and, and show them the things that God has prepared within us that we see clearly and, and, and at least testify to them about what they might be spiritually missing. And if they are willing to be willing to lead them to Jesus Christ. Because people don't, but people get used to seeing things in this carnal and natural way. But we are the light of this world. We see things that this world that's in darkness cannot see. Bright light hurt the eyes, and they do what they can to kind of close it or put the shade on it. But God is love, and Jesus is light. And we bring people to Jesus, and there is a cleansing process. Those that will their stay and be obedient, they'll begin to have their spiritual sight restored gradually. Ain't God wonderful? This is a devotional, again, that we wanted to bring to you. Again, this was Mark chapter 8 and uh, verses 22 through 26. Those of you that are not saved. Please give your life to Jesus Christ um, that God has offered us salvation. He wants us to not have not only have abundant life here on this in this world as his light, as his beacons of lights, as his messengers and as his children. But he also wants us to have eternal life with him. Amen. If you haven't made the choice to give your life over to Jesus Christ. Believe it or not, the choice is being made for you. You have a say-so in it, but if you allow the enemy to take that say-so away from you, then the choice is being made for you to spend your eternal life uh, uh, in the lake of fire. So please, if you haven't already done so, uh, give your life over to God because believe it or not, you are blind, but let him allow you to see. Amen. Uh, we bless God, Romans 10 and 9, for those of you that haven't done so, you can go to Romans 10 and 9 and, and read that and you'll be able to receive salvation by the faith in your heart and the confession of your mouth. Amen. In Jesus' name, God bless you, folks. Amen. This has been a United Body of Christ Church video production. You can visit our website at www.ubcchurch.org.